In the early hours of August 30, Gabon's Electoral Commission announced that Ali Bongo had secured a third term in office. Bongo had been in office for 14 years and his family had ruled the tiny oil-rich nation since 1967. His father, Omar, was president for 42 years. The elections were widely seen as flawed. No international media or observers were allowed in, and the government shut down internet on election day. But an hour after the election results were announced, a dozen military officers appeared on Gabonese TV to announce that they were seizing power. The soldiers said the election results were not credible and therefore were cancelled and that all state institutions had been dissolved. Bongo and members of his family were also detained. General Bryce Oligi Ingema, head of the powerful Republican Guard, was named transitional leader. Gabon's coup was the eighth since 2021 in West and Central African states. The Queen Gabon was greeted with jubilations in the streets of the capital Libreville as people had accused the Bongo dynasty of not doing enough to share the oil wealth with the citizens.